what's up guys in today's video i will show you how to fix wi-fi not working issue on your hisense smart tv so if you've been trying to connect to your wi-fi and it doesn't just connect or it connects and then stops working after some time then this video is for you i'll be taking you through some tips that will help you solve the issue now first things first you have to try to soft restart your smart tv now to do this you just have to turn off the tv now you have to unplug your tv from the wall socket for about 30 minutes so i'm just going to unplug mine now now while the tv is still unplugged you want to go to the power button at the bottom of the tv in my case in some tvs it is actually at the right hand side of the tv so what you want to do is to long press on this button for about five seconds so i'm just going to press mine now after the 30 minutes must have exhausted you want to go back and plug your tv to the wall socket again after plugging back the tv to the wall socket you want to go to your power button and try turning on the tv this time not with the remote but with the power button on the tv now once the tv is back on you want to try and connect your tv to the wi-fi again and see how it works if the previous step did not work for you, another thing you want to do is to change the IP address settings of your Hisense Smart TV. Now to do this, you just have to go to settings at the top of the TV. Now scroll down until you go to you get to connection. Now go to network. Now click on network configuration and then go down until you get to advanced settings. Now open it and go to IP settings. Now click on it and then if your TV is in DHCP, you want to change it to manual and if it is in manual, you want to change it to DHCP. Whichever one your TV is, make sure you change it to the other and then try connecting to your Wi-Fi again. Another solution that might work for you is to change the date and time of your smart TV. Now the problem is that whenever the, the time in your smart TV is different from the one on your router, it usually causes the TV to not be able to connect to the, to the Wi-Fi. So you want to make sure that the date and time of your smart TV corresponds with the date and time on your router or you just have to make sure that the time on your TV is actually correct now how to change the time and date of your tv is simply for you to still go to the settings of your tv now you want to scroll down until you get to system now on the time you want to make sure that everything here is set to the current the current date and time depending on your time zone you want to make sure that everything here is actually correct another thing you want to do is simply for you to update your tv firmware and software now to do this, you just have to go to the settings on your TV, scroll down until you get to support, click on it, and then go to system update. Now click on system update and then go to check if there is any update that you've not done on your, your TV. Now this actually requires that you have internet connection and if your system is up to date then it will let you know that there is actually no updates available but if there's actually an update that is available then you want to make sure that you update the TV and this will help to make sure that your TV is up to date with all of the latest upgrade that has been made by Hisense. Another solution that might work for you is to make sure that your Wi-Fi is actually close to the TV. So you don't want to keep the Wi-Fi far from the TV and expect it to connect successfully. For it to work, you want to make sure that you bring your Wi-Fi closer to the TV. Now you also want to make sure that your password is actually correct. So for instance, if I enter a password that is not correct, there is absolutely no way that the TV is going to connect to uh, the Wi-Fi. So you want to make sure that your wife, your password is actually correct so you're not wasting your time trying to figure out what is actually not a problem. The final solution I will actually offer you which should actually be a, a last resort for you is simply for you to factory reset your TV. Now to do this you have to come to the settings of your TV, scroll down to where you get to support, 
click on it and then go to reset to factory default now i have to warn you that by doing this you're simply taking your tv back to default so you definitely have to go through all of the setup processes for the tv again and you will probably have to log into all of the apps and all of the configuration processes that are necessary to set up the tv you will have to do all of these things again but by factory resetting your tv there is a high chance that your wi-fi issue will actually be solved